Alright, hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today is a Goodwill haul. Um, I have like a few consignment store finds um, at the end, but I crossed off four brands off of my Bolo list. Um, I thrifted all of these at Goodwill, all at the same store at one time. Um, I think they were all from like different people too, so I just got really, really lucky. Uh, I, I literally could not, I just could not believe it. Um, I, I, yeah, so it was the day after Valentine's Day, and I don't know, so I was, um, with my mom, or I, I was going to get my hair appointment, but then it got cancelled, but, yeah, so I was like, okay, why don't I just go to the Goodwill, because the Goodwill was, like, right near it, and so we did, and so the first thing I found, I do not do the best with this brand, but I feel like this style's okay, this is Sorel, and I think these are, like, I'm not sure if these are, or, I'm not sure if these are the Gen of the Arctic or not. I mean, I have found this brand before. I have passed on this brand before. But the treads look in good condition. The only problem is, like, there is some, like, wear there. But, yeah, these were only priced at $5.99. So I thought that was a decent price. And, yeah, so these were put out, I think, the day of or the day before I was there. So, and I, I just want to say, uh, the only thing I found... So some of these things have been there for, one of them have been there for two weeks, um, and then one of them have been there for six days, and I know two resellers in my area that have been to that Goodwill within six days, so just because a reseller has been through something, I mean, I've missed some things that I've already been through, and I, other resellers do um, as well, but just because a reseller has been in the store does not mean it's automatically picked over. You never know. Some people just might not be looking for the same things or might not be checking certain sections. But I, when I first started finding stuff, I really looked and yeah. So I didn't get like a ton of stuff. I was still trying to be selective, but I'm trying to show like the least exciting things first. Anyways, so these were half off. Otherwise, I would not have picked them up because they are, the jeans are so expensive now. These were $9.33 for jeans, which is like, that's like California pricing. And I'm sorry, I live in like cornfields of like chicago was cheaper than i'm like why are we more expensive than chicago like that makes no sense but these are judy blue size 8 16 w which i don't even pick up this brand half the time anymore unless i can get it super cheap so i usually skip it for no more thrift store prices but these were half off and new with like the partial tag so and they are a boot cut jean um slim boot cut so yeah so i know people like to wear this brand um themselves but it really doesn't sell the best for me anymore so unless i can get it uh for like a cheap cost of goods and excellent condition i will usually pass i don't really pick up their skinny jeans in the smaller sizes either like no matter what but all right then i got these um this one really doesn't do the best for me either but i always i usually pick it up but g star raw these are the beckham skinny and they i believe they're new without tags but i'll mark them as good pre-owned condition but they are this just this like moto like style like street wear um, I would never wear these, but, you know, some people will. A uh, skinny jean. And, like, somewhere they have, like, a zipper detail, like, there. So, that's interesting. These were also half off. but They, they were in the women's jeans section, but they're definitely not women's. But, yeah. So, there was seven from a kind dojo jeans that I uh, found. But they had some, like, they had some wear the hem, which is fine. But they also had some, like, rub wear between the legs. I mean, it wasn't a hole, but with the hem wear and with the rub uh, wear for that price i decided to leave them even though i mean i find those like not super often but yeah so okay should i okay i'm just trying to do like the least exciting things first i probably should have left this one i did leave some of this brand behind because it was more basic this is sundance i used to like love selling this brand it has slowed down quite a bit for me but it is like a velvet um front mixed media size large which is why i mostly got it um tunic top so I like that velvet on the front, and yeah. But this is just rayon and spandex, so nothing, like, not the best fabric makeup ever, but it's fine. Alright, then I went to, okay, I think, where's the four? Oh, okay. Then I went to the new rack. I'm trying to show you guys my four bullets. Some of them are, like, the best, yeah. Then I went to the new rack, and I found this, um, or I found this, like, jumpsuit thing, so... There, there's the jumpsuit, and then it has that stretch waist, and then, yeah, so black jumpsuit, I like, I actually like jumpsuits, I, I mean, they're not, like, my favorite foot to photograph, even, um, black, but I like the brand, and it is Patagonia, but it was new with tags, so I was like, okay, I mean, like, 
All right, new, new tag Patagonia. So this retail for $129. And um, this is a woman's size medium. So I was like, okay. Yeah, so I believe this was priced at $10. They had a new Attack Express blazer that retail for like $100, priced at $35. So I'm like, okay, I'll just take the Patagonia jumpsuit. So I'm going to try to return this to my like local um, store that sells Patagonia. And if they take it, then I'm just going to use the credit to buy something for myself from Patagonia. But if they don't, then... Um, I mean, it's worked before, so if they don't, then it's I'll just sell it, but... Yeah, so it's called a Women's Organic Cotton Roaming Jumpsuit. Happy about that. I don't know why people just donate new tag stuff like that. I'm like, okay. Alright, so I'll show you the first pants I found. And I literally, so in my Q&A video, it was like brands that you haven't surprised, or you haven't found that you're surprised about. I crossed off, I think, I think two of them that I said I, I found. So, anyway, so I found these pants, and they were, so I they were facing me like this. So, okay, so they were facing like this, okay? So I looked at this tag, and I recognized the font. I was like, okay, I see that font, but, like, again, there's no brand tag or anything. So I, like, and I was like, oh, they're, uh, like, backwards. So I flipped them over, and then I saw this little logo. So if you know this logo, I was so excited because I, yeah. Anyway, I posted on Instagram, so if you guys see all Instagram, you'll saw two of the finds that I found, but then... Again, for more confirmation, it says Arc'teryx. There's Arc'teryx, huge bolo. I really want, like, a jacket on my Arc'teryx, but I haven't found one in the price I'm willing to pay. But these are a 55% linen, 45% cotton blend, um, like, wide leg pants, size 8. So, I'm going to try these on because she loves, like, these linen wide leg pants. But I really hope she doesn't keep them. But fingers crossed. And, um... Yeah, so I was so, so excited about these. These were priced, I believe, at like five or six something, but I was willing to pay that. Um, yeah, these, those have been, these have been there for two weeks. I was like, how? I don't understand. I don't know. All right, then like right down the line, I found this brand for the first time. A lot of you have probably found it. It's been, I'm like, how have I found some of these brands but not this brand? But it was a little bit down from the Arc'teryx pants, but it is M.M. Lafleur size 12. And these are a high-waisted... Um, just like trouser pant. So the only thing that was wrong with these was that like Like this seam came undone But my mom said she could fix that so I went ahead and got them for them being a size 12 a navy color Um, yeah, I've, I've sold it before or I found out a consignment store for like on the set rack for three dollars, but That's all but so I was happy to find it at the thrift store. I think their dresses do the best but again this is a pretty well-made brand, so I was happy about that. All right, then I just went to the dresses. I was like, okay, I'm finding good stuff. Let me go to the dresses. I feel like this might be from the M.M. Lafleur person. It is not an M.M. Lafleur, but I have got this brand in a swap box, or not a swap box, just a random box that showed up on my um, doorstep from Kelly Schaffner, but it is this teal, like, eh, maybe not teal, but a blue um, fit and flare um, dress. I'm not sure if this fit and flare style is still on trend or... I don't really think it's, like, on trend, but I know some people still like to wear it. So, it is sync accept, which means party time, I believe. And, um, this is size 10. But this had also been there for a little bit of time, I think. Like, 10 days or something. So, party time. I was definitely doing a little party dance when I found that. Crossing it off my list. So, I was very happy about that one. Alright, then I'm gonna show you, like, my... One of my favorite, I like the Arc'teryx pants, um, but I probably, okay, so I probably list this at a hundred dollars. The co I mean, it just has some, like, light sense of wear, but, um, that one's good. These, I'll probably list at 50 once they're good and, like, better condition. This jumpsuit, probably, like, a hundred dollars, or 85 to a hundred, if I had to guess. This, like, 35. These G-Star jeans, probably 50. These GD Blue, probably, again, 50. And the Arc'teryx pants, I list at 85. I would, I looked up comps, but I list at them at 85 if my mom doesn't keep them. All right, so this retailed for probably over two thousand dollars, and I've this is my third time finding the brand, and it's been flawed like every single time I found it. So the first time was a skirt, and it just had some moth holes, and then the second time was a pair of pants, and then they had the size tag cut out, and this is like the most substantial thing I've ever found by them. So this is Max Mara, and it is a pea coat so it's super super long and the front looks great so i was like okay bet and then so i threw it in the cart 
and they had a price at $9.44, but it says as is on the tag, and I was like, oh, I wonder why it says that. So I flipped to the back, and if you can see right away, or maybe not right away, but unfortunately, there is some damage. So I saw this. It's like, it doesn't, it's not a complete hole, but it's the start of a moth hole, and it has it in like multiple lo locations. And, and the the biggest one being like down here somewhere. Uh, yeah, right here. So I was like questioning whether to get it or not, but some of like the Mark Samara, like, tre like this is like down to your like almost like ankles or like downward of the shin. So I was like, I can't, I just can't leave it there. Um, so I didn't leave it. But and then one more thing I did see as well was like at the lining it like split as well so yeah and somebody i think somebody tried to repair it but yeah so i was like i don't know should i still get it so i asked one of my friends on instagram and she said to get it and so if this was in perfect condition i'd probably list this at 500 dollars, which is crazy but since the condition i'll probably list it at 250 but i mean still not a bad find i guess but i i mean i don't always pick up flawed items obviously but like some items are still worth picking up flawed let me know if you would have picked this up this actually surprised me it looks like a size like 2x or something it looks yeah but i think the max mara like teddy coat and like this type of stuff is like typically oversized it's a us size 8 and it's 100 percent wool so i don't know when this is from i know it's probably vintage for sure yeah but i was happy about i was I was happy about this, so we'll see how this does. Again, we're not in the right season for this, but I mean, we're, yeah, it was like 60 degrees today, um, March, I'm feeling this March 1st, and it was 59, but I, I was like, sweat, it was so nice and warm, I could, it was basically tanning weather here in Illinois, so it was great. All right, then you, are you guys ready for my bet, or my favorite find? I mean, I really like the Arcteryx pants, I'm really excited to cross that brand off the list, but I was expecting to find Arteryx before I found this brand, and I did, but only by like a 30 minute difference, so I was just flipping through the tops, which I don't normally do, and I saw like this little tag like go off, and then I saw, I'm going to try to cover the brand, but if you know this brand, if you've seen, yeah, so it says La Mali, I don't know, I don't really speak um French, I'm in Spanish class, but, and then I, I knew what it was, so I just wanted to check, and then it says Cezanne, Cezanne, whatever. Um, right there and I was like oh my gosh size medium I was like freaking out um and it's like the oh, it's this um jumper sweater I can't remember the name but it's something jumper oh the timothy it's called the timothy jumper and it's this red color with like these like it's almost like a lace but it's like I don't know and it has a mohair and it's like one of those like faux wrap sweaters but it has a snap because it was on it was on snap when I found it. I found it like this. And I was like, oh, maybe the snap is missing. Which, if it, if the snap was missing, I still would have got it anyway. Um, which, I, I'm happy it was there. And I was like, oh my gosh. But then, um, so the only issues with this, there's no flaw. Like, after I, like, clean it up and stuff, there's going to be no flaw. It looks like somebody, like, got food on it, like, throughout. Um, I saw it on the sleeve. Like, yeah, here. Um, there's just some, like, food. So they went up to Valentine's Day dinner. On the 15th, um, I found this on the 16th, so, or 14th, or 15th, so, yeah, this, this was, two, I found this two weeks ago, because it's the first, so, yeah, I was, like, literally, like, I, I was, like, shit, I was, like, freaking out, I wasn't as excited about this, I, like, I know I've probably mentioned this dress, like, 150 times in my videos, I found, like, a Ulu Johnson dress, and that was, like, the most excited I've ever been to find something, and I was excited to find the season sweater, but I wasn't as excited to find it as the Ulu Johnson, which I don't know why, but because this brand has been on my bow list. But this is 40% nylon, 32% kid mohair, 28% merino wool. So there is the tag, Cezanne. Cezanne. Some, so they have a few different tags. Sometimes it's like this. I like all this like wording on it, if you can see. And then sometimes it just says um, Cezanne, like that. So, uh, yeah, I know like, I mean, Americanizing, whatever the act, I don't really speak French, so, but that was only $5, and I'm, their sweaters, I'm, like, everybody says their sweaters 
do the best out of anything from that brand. And it's not like actually that expensive. That probably retail for like $150, which $150 to $200, which is expensive, but it's really not like, I mean, when you think about something like this, where it retails or like something like the GD blue jeans where they retailed for like $60, but you can still like get close to the money back for them, at least in this style. And then compared to this Max Mario coat where it's over $2,000 retail and I can only get, you know, a few hundred for it back, it's kind of like, oh, but this brand retail, uh, on a lot of the items that re retains its value very well. So I'm listing this at $125 um, and I'm hoping for a hundred. So that was so, so exciting. All right, then I went to, um, so my sister Ellery came home to surprise my mom uh, for her birthday, which was the 28th or 24th of February. And um, yeah, so we went to the, so they were trying on prom dresses and uh, I had just gone to this, it was, it's 30 minutes away. And I went to this store that I had the bag sale was in this, in this area. So I went to the Goodwill. And so, yeah, I did find a few things. There was like, there was one lady that was like, I think a shoe reseller, but she was like looking a lot of the pairs of shoes up. So I just like kind of like went around. Um, I know what I'm looking for when it comes to shoes. So I saw these dance goes, which I, honestly, this brand has slowed down quite a bit for me, but dance go. And these are like this loafer thing with a little bit of heel. Yeah, so these were like in brand new condition. I mean, okay, they're not in brand, they're in good condition. Um, these were $5.99, but this was the half off color. So yeah, and then I found these and this cheetah or leopard print. I don't really know the difference, but whatever. Again, more dance goes, again, half off as well. So definitely from the same person, size 37 for both of these. And these are both like a calf hair upper. And I didn't see any of like the calf hair missing, which is something I always check for for this material because it comes off actually pretty easily. So, uh, yeah, but it's very nice, very soft. So I was happy to get those. And then, um, yeah, then I like left the shoe section because I didn't see another shoe section. But I just went like perusing around and uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I, yeah, so I found those and I was like, okay, whatever. But, so unfortunately, my sister's prom dress thing didn't work out because the place that she went, they didn't have any, like, cute dresses as she thought. But, so they were back, like, to my store within five minutes. And I was like, whatever. I was like, oh. Like, dang. So it was about time to leave. But, like, they wanted to leave. But I, I was, like, just looking. I was like, I want more time. Anyways, so my sister Tatum, my twin sister, was, like, looking through the athletic wear. And she found, uh, she saw, like, these. And she was like, oh, um... She held them up, and she goes, oh my gosh, Keegan, look. And, like, she had, like, a disappointed look on her face. And, like, so, I had this, like, reflective detail. And I was, like, those, like, look a lot like the Lululemon, like, hotty hot shorts. So, I thought she was meaning, like, they were a dupe or whatever. But I'm, like, that was, like, like, so close to them. But then she showed me that they were, in fact, Lululemon. So, these are the hotty hot shorts. Um, they were only priced at $3, which is, like, great. Um... These are size six, even though they really don't, but they're a new style. They have the numbers around, so $3, great deal for Hottie Cots. She is keeping these, but then she, like, went down the um, row, and then I saw these, so I was about to just go for them, go get them, like, when I had made my way, but, so, but I saw them, I, most, my, some, some of you might be able to tell what they are. They have this side stripe, and they are, like, a faux leather, but she goes, there was Spanx, and she goes, oh, do you still want Spanx? Which, I had, I do leave some Spanx behind, but these are size medium. People, some people, like, have said they've sold the for leather for, like, $90. I've never, I honestly really have not done that well for them. Like, in the th I've, like, got, like, the $35 range for them, but I think these were only, like, $3 as well. So, size medium, I was like, okay, I'll try those. And then my sister went down again, and she saw these, like, shorts. And these are the Speed Up shorts from Lululemon. Again, $3. And so, speed up shorts. And these are size 4. So, I was... Yeah, but she's keeping them, which is really unfortunate. Like, they always get, like, all the good blue that I want to sell. But, alright, then my mom was looking through the scrub section. And she found these figs. These are size, I think, women's medium. But they're, like, just like the jogger pants. So, yeah, these were... 442 and yeah so so i'm doing a cna class in the fall 
um, for, it's at college, so I'll be technically a college student in the fall, but, like, I'm mostly gonna be a high school student, but it's a clinical nursing assistant, and you have to wear scrubs, and you have to find, like, I don't know, I just, I went the figs, joggers, so I try these on, and they, like, are, like, a little bit big, but it's, I mean, at least in the waist, but I, there's a drawstring, so it, it'll be fine, but I'm hoping to find the matching top. I find this color pretty frequently, so I, I think I'll find the top eventually, but the top was not there, but, yeah, whatever. Then I realized there were, so they had, like, a lot of shoes, and so they were pricing them low. So I went around the shoe section again, and I found these Bionics, which I always think of Kelly Schaffner when I found this brand, but, um, super geek, Victoria said she's still this exact style. And really, when I'm looking for these bread and butter shoe brands, like Dansko, Bionic, I'm really looking for ready-to-list condition shoes when it comes to those brands, so these were in, I mean, lightwear, but, like, I'm not doing any shoe cleaning with these, because they really don't need it, but... These were only priced at $2.59, which I thought was a great deal. These are called the Carol. They're size 9, and that's purple, like, snakeskin um, pattern, which I thought these were a great deal. So I wanted to get, give those a try. All right, then I was... These were, like, right next to each other, and I have a feeling they're from the same person, but I don't really know. But I, I really like this brand for myself. It doesn't always sell the best, but I do get excited when I find it because I like it for myself, and I don't find it, like, super often, but... So this is All Saints. I've never found their shoes before, but these are a pair of slides. And it says All, and then Saints. But, like, when you're wearing them, you can't really see the S, so it looks like All Aints. Like, see? Doesn't that look like All Aints? So, I don't know. Kind of, like, a design flaw, but whatever. Um, they're a really nice leather right here. And this is, like, yeah, but, I mean, these are, like, in such great condition. Um, it says All Saints at the bottom, sold to. These are size 39. They were only priced at $3.79. So I was more than happy to pay that. I was like, okay. And then right next to those, these are size 9.5. So I think that's... I'm, I'm not sure if these were from the same person, but I saw these. I don't always pick up this brand. I have found... I don't think I've ever picked it up. Um, not because it's a bad brand, because some of the pieces can sell for over $100 from this brand. But because, I, I mean, I... I've, I found out the bins, like, three, almost two, three years ago, and I didn't pick them up, and I really don't know why, but I just didn't, um, and then I found it at this store again, which I real this store that I go to is so hit or miss, I mean, it's usually a miss, but it was a hit today, so it was very, or not today, but, like, in this video, and I was, like, okay, literally, like, bet, I mean, I'm, I'm so excited, but these are shuts or shoots, whatever, and they're, like, this, um, cute, like, little sandal, or whatever, and, like, very lightly worn, kind of like the All Saints, so, yeah, these were priced at $2.59, so for that price, I couldn't say no, and with the condition, the last time I found this brand at this store, they were not in the best condition, but, um, the shoe reseller lady, she would have made it, um, to the section, but I guess she wasn't looking for those brands, so, again, just because a reseller has been there does not mean you're not going to find anything. New Rack came out, and this is my second time finding this brand. The first time I found it, it was a jacket sold for like $80 or something, super fast, or $75 something. But this is Topo Design, size large. This is a men's size large, made in USA, flannel. So the last time I sold this brand, it sold really well. I'll probably list this at like $50 and expects $35 to $40, which for men's like flannel is pretty good. So this is definitely a brand you want to keep your eyes out for and like look up if you see it. So, happy to find Topo Designs on the new rack. Okay. Then, my heart, like, literally shattered. I was so, so upset. So, after I found that, I was, like, going back to show my mom. And this lady comes out of the aisle. And I saw, like, this quilting I recognized. And I was like, oh. And then I look closer, and it has a Patagonia logo on it with the Goodwill tag on it. And I was like, are you? I was, like, so, I was, I was, like, literally, I wanted to, like, leave the store. I was like, I'm done. Because I was like, I don't find Patagonia, like, th pullovers with, like, that often. I mean, I find Patagonia, like, decently often. But, like, n not the pieces, like, that are super substantial. And so I was like, I was so mad. I was like, okay, I'm not leaving until I know that she buys it for sure. Because she might put it back. So then I, like, my mission was, like, to look around. Oh, my gosh. Wait, I'm missing some stuff. Okay, wait. Okay. So my mission was, like, to look around the store and see if I found anything else. So I was, like, looking around. And I was like, okay. So then I found, I went to the dresses, and I found this Patagonia, I size extra small, like, athletic dress. This is not, like, I don't always pick up their athletic dresses, but they did, like, this print. Um, so I was like, whatever. And I was like, I guess this is the Patagonia I'm getting today. 
tops. So then I was just like looking through like the tops and stuff because I was like, ugh, what a, maybe she, I don't know. But I was like, whatever. I was just kind of like, mm, I was like disappointed, I guess. But uh, then through the tops, I found this Everlane size medium. And this is like a chore uh, jacket. It's like this ivory color. And I was nervous that like, there might be a spot or something. I didn't see any like major ones. There's probably like a tiny one somewhere. But for this was four forty four um fifty nine. Um so I was like, okay, I'll pick it up for that price. I don't always pick up Everlane. Um I'm not sure when we list this at. I've had a guess probably thirty five to forty dollars, but yeah. And then I looked through the pants and then I saw these. So this is my first time finding this brand. Um yeah, and it just, it's super, like, inconsistent with the comps. Some of them will sell for, like, literally $10, and some of them will sell for, like, 100 So, yeah. So, this is 3 by one um, jeans, and these were $6.08. But they are, like, a high-waisted straight-leg jean. So, I got them because they were a high-rise straight-leg. Um, these are size 31, too, which is good. But then I accidentally dragged them on the ground. Um, and it just got, like, some, like, dirt, so I have to wash these, but there isn't, like, any, like, major stains or anything like that, so, yes, that's it, so, um, I just sold a pair of pants by this brand today, um, new with tags, they're, like, a wide, like, like, twill pant for $15, so, even though these retail probably over 100 maybe 150 to $200, they don't always retain their value the best if i had to guess i'll probably list these at 45 dollars. but let me know if you saw that brand and your experience with it all right so then so i was just like mad i was like okay and then the lady goes to the dressing room and i'm like okay then she comes out and whatever heads to the checkout so i just go uh back to the dress out changing room where my um like my mom was there too and then i was like mad because i still didn't get the patagonia and i really wanted it like i was like Ugh. Like, whatever. Like, it's not that I didn't want the lady to have it, like, but I wanted it to. Because I, I, I thought I might, like, keep it for myself. I wasn't sure what size it was. And I, w I was, like, mm. I was just kind of, like, like, I, I wish I didn't see it. And I was, like, Ugh, whatever. But, yeah. So then my mom, uh, I look in the cart. And what do I see? This Patagonia Organic Cotton Quilted Snap Tee. And... For five dollars, I was like, "Oh, thank you, lady, for putting that back." Made my day. Like honestly, if even though I found all that great stuff at that one Goodwill, I don't think I would have ever, like, I, I don't think I would have ever stopped thinking about this. So this is a size medium, and it might have like shrunk like a little bit. However, I I literally had a sh I had to make so I got one of these from Kelly Schaffner as well when she sent me the box, and um my uh. Sa my forensics teacher is really tall, so, and I, he wears a size large, but, like, a large tall, and so I wanted, he wanted one, he wanted one of the organic cotton Patagonia, so he's like, if you ever find one, just, like, let me know, and so, I mean, I got one, so, but he's like, oh, it doesn't, like, fit me, it's too short, so I went home, I know how to do it, you get warm water, you get conditioner, and then I had my sister, and, like, we pulled it, and it will stretch out, so this will eventually fit me, because it's a woman's size medium, even though it doesn't look like it, but I was, like, Thank you, lady, so much. Like, I was like, thank you so much. Like, yeah, for $5, for $5. My Goodwill, don't, we, we don't really mark up Patagonia here, um, thankfully, but my Goodwill would have marked this as, like, a jacket or, or like, a sweatshirt and probably priced it at, like, $8, which I would have still paid, but it was nice to have it for $5. This Goodwill, they they have, like, the brand knowledge of, like, I don't know, like, rocks. So... Mine, like, even though it's 30 minutes away, has, and they're under the same branch, has, like, a little bit better brand knowledge. Sometimes they'll mark Lululemon up to, like, $10, which is, like, annoying, but it, it is what it is. But anyways, so my sister came home, so she brought th some things back that she doesn't wear anymore. Um, these are size 6 Lululemon pants. I found these in Chicago with another pair, and those pairs sold for $75. These have a little bit of fading and are black, but I'll probably still list them at, like, $65 because the other ones sold for full price. So, like, literally, like, a week ago. So I was like, okay... And then she got, um, yeah, this, like, I'm not sure why I let her keep this, because I kind of knew she wasn't going to wear it. It's a size 29, which isn't even her size. Levi's Quality Premium. And this is, like, the ribcage black, 
um, overalls. So I've never found the rib cage style, but these are the rib cage overalls. I did find these. I could both things I could well. I found these locally and these in Chicago. So, all right. Then I went to the consignment store and yeah. So they had a seventy five percent off of clearance, and I just went there. So all their clearance was like kind of like fresh. Um. So yeah, that was that was so exciting because everything was like like newish. So there's a lot of new arrivals there. Anyways, so I did pay, I paid up for this, but this is like a suede, like a suede in exterior with, I, I don't know why, I just really love studs, so I got that, if you can see that, that is Patricia Nash, I picked up this brand for the first time at another consignment store for $25 as well, and I did pay $25 for this one, they had this priced at $100, 75% off, I could not believe it was still there, because for $25 for a Patricia Nash bag for yourself is a great deal, um, it's leather, so that was great, I have stuff in here, but um so this was the most expensive thing and it is like the interior looks great this is in great condition so for 25 dollars, i was willing to pay it again if this was at goodwill i probably would not have paid 25 dollars just because i like supporting local businesses but I mean, it comes down to that sometimes um yeah yeah so that's what it was anyways okay then i got this um this was like five dollars or something um this is a cool razorback printed tank top from Lululemon. There was a Lululemon tank they did leave behind for $4.50, but um, it wasn't in as good of condition. And this is like a larger size too, so probably like a size 10 or 12. So that's why I paid $5 for this one. I don't always pay $5 for $5 for Lululemon tanks. And then these, I really love these. These were like in my bag sale haul. I was like showing some like the things there and like, yeah, these were there. So, but, and I was like, I really like this print. So if they go like go on sale or something, I will get them. But these are the free people movement. Where's the logo? Uh, here here's the logo so free people movement and these are like the way home something short so yeah so um they're like a super high rise and like this like bandana like almost like christmasy print but like not christmasy but yeah so these retail for they used to retail for like 30 dollars, but then they raised the price to like 35 but my sisters really like these they're size extra small and my twin sister tatum claimed these but like they were like fighting over them it was like a feral battle to see who could get the free people shorts but yeah i've my sister found these in chicago and then at the thrift store there and then she has a pair that i got her for christmas full retail price of 30 dollars. but and she really likes them so yeah then i saw a girl walking around with these but i wasn't worried about them um because like this pattern's not the cutest but like these shorts always sell for me like no matter the color um size um so yeah these are lululemon and they are size six and they're like the speed up shorts so they had these priced at 18 and 99 so 75 percent off of that so they were like a little bit less than five dollars so that was great for those i was willing to pay that this is like um this is like the vinyasa scarf or whatever so you can wear it like a multiple different ways this was five dollars um so yeah i was willing to pay that for the vinyasa I'll probably get like $25 for that. So, all right, then I cannot believe these were still there. Um, these were priced at $32.99. Another pair of Lululemon. And these are like the, I don't think these are, I'm not sure if these are the, uh, on the fly joggers or not, but like, or they're just like a pant on the fly pants, I think is what they're called, but I could be wrong. But I was like, how are these still there? Because this is like a current style. Um, I would have paid $10 for these. I think I paid like 8 but there's a logo there, but these sell so well. I'll probably get over like $60 for these. I'll probably list them at like 80 because they're a current style. What size are these? I think like a six or something. That should be like a song. Where are you size dot? How can I find you? Oh, it's weird. Okay, they are size six. And they, yeah, so these are from 03 spring of 21. So they're very recent style. Like what is, I don't even know. All right, then, again, if you sell these in the thrift with me, I was very excited. I mean, I was like, oh, I will sell these for over $100, but again, the $45 price tag is a good deal for somebody, um, or $46 price tag, but I just, a little bit out of my price range, so I saw these. Do you guys see? Can you see? So these are, um, pocket, so these are mother, and yeah, so they are a button fly, straight leg, um, cropped jean. These are size 31 and they are the Tomcats and three little ships. So sometimes a Tomcat is like um, the mother superior 
line so it's like almost like a square patch but these weren't they're, they're just a regular mother mother which is fine um yeah they just have like some like light wear and yeah so i was so so excited again i bought a fly with the mother buttons and that says mother i think it says mother always liked you best mother always liked you best yeah it does so i was so so excited and this is when i thought it was 50 percent off and then my mom told me it was 75 percent off so i was willing to pay so they would have been like 23 dollars. i was willing to pay that for these not all mother i'm willing to pay 23 dollars for but for these i was like okay sure but then after 75 percent off they ended up being like 12 dollars which is such a good deal i'll probably list these at 150 dollars so this was probably my favorite thing that i found i you guys know i love mother i haven't found that at the actual thrift store in a while but i found it what is that my how, how many i don't know I, I just found them recently for three dollars at like a close mentor 90 percent off sale which was the video before this but i was very excited to find them um in a good style because the other ones i found weren't like the best style ever but like these are a very on trend style and a very good size i found this um a similar style they're called a dropout which sometimes i want to do but um they're called a dropout jean which is like a boyfriend relaxed jean also in a size 31 and they're like a green corduroy and i paid like ten dollars for those at the same consignment store so um that was great that one time that i found them but uh yeah so and I have a feeling they might have been from the same person. I mean, obviously, I don't know because I don't have, like, the other tag to see what they were. But these were priced at uh, $45 or $46. And then, as you can see, yeah, so they went. I was just, I was so excited. So, yes, love Mother Jean. This is my first time going to be trying to sell the like, Tomcat style. I usually find the Looker, which is the skinny Jean. But I was happy to find those. So, let me know your favorite find. I think it has to, for me, I really like the All Saints slides, the Patagonia Snap T pullover, and um, the Mother Jeans. So let me know your favorite thing. Oh, I literally forgot about the first haul. Obviously, the Arcteryx pants this season. So such a good haul. Probably one of my best hauls this year, if not in a while. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.